Everybody loves the men and women in uniform. Is it the power they ooze, the machines, or the secrecy surrounding their existence and operations? Speculation is rife. Action and thriller movies have been done. But special elite forces from the world's powerhouses continue to evolve in covertness, human capability, armory, precision, and speed of execution. Hold your breath as we will explore the most elite special forces in the world. China's Snow Leopard Commando Unit Formerly known as the Snow Wolf Commando Unit, this is the Special Ops Unit of the People's Republic of China. At their inception, the forces spent five years training in secret to conduct counterterrorism, riot control, anti-hijacking, and bomb disposal for the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing. They've trained alongside Russian Special Task Force units during joint anti-terror exercises with the primary mission of maintaining peace and stability. Named after the tenacious and perseverant Arctic Leopards, the unit prides itself in the speed and accuracy of their marksmanship, their strength and stamina, and their spirit of self-sacrifice. Britain's Special Boat Service By strength and guile is the motto of the Royal Navy's Special Boat Service. This is one of the United Kingdom's most secretive and elite military units. The SBS is the UK's equivalent of the US Navy SEALs. The selection process for the elite warrior team has a 90% failure rate. It involves a grueling four-week endurance test that grows increasingly challenging and concludes with a 25-mile march in 20 hours. Polish GROM in 1990, this special force unit was organized after Operation Bridge, a mission to help Soviet Jews enter Israel. The term stands for Grupta Rigonwia Operational Manirogro, which means Group for Operational Maneuvering Response. Intelligence reports indicated a significant Hezbollah threat in the area, so the elite counter-terrorist force was approved. It remained a secret from the public until 1994, when they were deployed to Haiti for Operation Restore Democracy. GROM performed Forms rescue operations including hostage recovery as well as counterinsurgents missions. They have extensive weapons and medical expertise beside the host of military life disciplines including parachuting, amphibious insertion, diving, pyrotechnics, and vehicle handling. Whether fighting terrorists or war criminals, this elite special force more than lives up to its name. The Special Services Group in Pakistan Business Insider reported that Pakistani Special Force training requires a 36-mile march done in 12 hours and a 5-mile run in full kit in 20 minutes. Created to combat terrorism, extremism, and separatism, SSG training consists of grueling physical conditioning, airborne school, a 25-week commando course, and hand-to-hand -hand combat training. Reportedly, only 5% of recruits complete the rigorous training. Due to their location, they are kept actively engaged in counter-terror missions. From hot spots along the India-Pakistani border, to the ongoing conflict in Afghanistan, to Operation zarb e abs the joint military offensive targeting terrorist organizations, the SSG goes where the fire is hottest. Delta Force this is the U.S. Army's Special Forces Unit. With Army Rangers and Green Berets among its numbers, it also has operators from the Navy and Air Force. Throughout its short history, it has maintained its superior ability to capture or kill high-value targets, dismantle terrorist cells, and conduct covert missions in any area of operation. Most of the missions executed by Delta Force remain classified, and it's rare to find an official document that even acknowledges the unit's exists. One of this U.S. Special Forces' most notable accomplishments includes Operation Red Dawn, the capture of Saddam Hussein. SAS UK The Special Air Service was founded in 1941 as a regiment and later reconstituted as a corps in 1950. The Special Forces unit focuses on a number of roles including counterterrorism, hostage rescue, direct action, and covert reconnaissance. Much of the information about the SAS is highly classified and the unit is not mentioned by either the British government or the Ministry of Defense due to the secrecy and sensitivity of its operations. SAS does more hostage rescue counterterrorism operations than the SEALs, unless you count the Special SEALs Department, DEVGRU. The Sayeret Matkal of Israel 
Also known as Unit 269, Israel Sayeret Matkal is a highly secretive special operations brigade with almost legendary status. Since its inception in 1957, these special forces have gained a reputation for their deep reconnaissance capabilities, counterterrorism, and hostage recovery missions. One of Sayeret Matkal's most notable operations is perhaps the Entebbe Rescue in the 1976 known as Operation Thunderbolt. In this incident, an Air France plane carrying two 250 passengers to Paris from Tel Aviv was hijacked by terrorists and ordered to land in Uganda. The non-Israeli passengers were released, but 106 hostages remained. The rescue mission took a week to plan and a little over an hour to execute, fleeing all but four hostages. Spain's Special Naval Warfare Force it was created in 2009 when the country merged different units of the Spanish Navy into one combative entity. The Fuerza is comprised of the Special Combat Divers Unit, Special Explosive Diffusers Unit, and the Special Operations Unit, its main tactical predecessor. The Special Operations Unit was responsible for maritime counterterrorism, combat diving, air and amphibious insertion, combat search and rescue, and shipboarding. The Elite Force Fuerza carries on the fight. They have a strong history of utilizing those tactics in hostage rescue and pirate confrontation. In 2011, they rescued a French hostage from Somali pirates. Russian Spetsnaz. It is shrouded in mystery, but it dates back to the Red Bolshevik Guard. This was a paramilitary force organized during the height of the Russian Revolution in the early 20th century. Most of its members are comparable to U.S. Army Rangers, but an elite few train like Delta Force. They have long held mastery of battlefield reconnaissance, shattering enemy chains of command and lines of supply, and targeting the enemy's tactical weapons and advantages. One thing that makes them different from the U.S. Special Forces is their freedom to mix and match their weapons. Marcos, India Marcos are capable of operating in all types of environment, at sea, on air, and land. The force has gradually acquired more experience and an international reputation for professionalism. The Marcos regularly undertake specialized maritime operations in Jammu and Kashmir through the Jelum River and the Wular Lake and conduct counter-insurgency operations in the region. They are capable of undertaking operations in all types of terrain, but are specialized in maritime operations. The force has undertaken numerous joint exercises exercises with other special forces from around the world. As of 2012, the Marcos had about 2,000 personnel, though the exact number remains classified. Are you overwhelmed or can you face the more elite top 10 forces? Let's try. Canadian JTF-2 the Joint Task Force 2 is assigned counterterrorism operations, but also specializes in direct action, special reconnaissance, hostage rescue, personnel recovery, and foreign internal defense. Much of the information regarding JTF-2 is classified and is not commented on by the Government of Canada. The elite special force does not carry individual battle honors, but instead uses the motto, you beat, meaning everywhere. In 1996, JTF-2 deployed to Haiti to advise the security forces of President René Preval on methods to repel the Revolutionary Army, train local SWAT teams, and raid weapon smugglers in Port-au-Prince. Russian Spetsnaz when it came to the performance of the Svetsnaz in combat, Mark Giaconia says they were keen on tactics that had great intuition and instinct. Mark served 15 of his 20-year army career in the Special Forces. They could shoot well, took care of their weapons and equipment, were in great shape, and were highly disciplined. Svetsnaz has allowed female members for some time now. Republic of China Marine Corps the ROC Marine Corps were formed from the former Navy Sentry Corps in December 1914. During the Second Sino-Japanese War, the ROC Marines saw little in amphibious warfare. The Japanese dominated the seas, and thus these Chinese elite forces saw combat in the same form as the regular infantry. Likewise, during the Civil War, the ROC Marines were either absorbed as regular infantry units or played a supporting role. However, in 1947, the ROC Marine Corps was reconstituted and saw action in Maui Fujian. The Marine Corps command is subordinate to the Navy GHQ, the General Staff, the Minister of Defense, and the ROC President. Australian SASR 
The first Special Air Service Regiment units to deploy on active service after the Vietnam War did so as part of Australian peacekeeping missions. Small numbers of SASR personnel were involved in the Operation Habitat in Turkey and northern Iraq as medics to assist Kurdish refugees between May and June of 1991. SAS soldiers' pay ranges from less than 25,000 pounds a year to around 80,000 pounds depending on their skill and rank. This compares with the basic 13,000 pounds in privates in other regiments. They are highly trained, but much of what they do is secret, so you'll probably never find out what they are up to. German KSK the Commando Specialkraft Special Forces Command has been part of the German Army, the Bundeswehr, since 1996. The group focuses on anti-terrorism operations and hostage rescues. Its members have served in Afghanistan and the Balkans, but its operations are kept secret, of course. This elite forces operations are predominantly armed with a G36 family of 5.56mm assault rifles and carry the G17 9mm handgun as their standard issue sidearm. In June 2020, German Defense Defense Minister Annegret kramp kramenbauer announced that the unit would be partially disbanded due to growing far-right extremism within the ranks. Alpha Group Russia the Alpha Group brings together entrepreneurs for peer-to-peer -peer exchange and support in a unique member-driven experience. Business owners and managing directors worldwide can be part of an exclusive group of qualified executives to brainstorm strategies and realize the potential of increasing profit and growth. It traces its origin to the Soviet-era Alpha Group, created on July 28, 1974. As of 2014, Colonel Sergei Zubkov was designated the commander of the unit, a recruit in place through interviews and lie detector tests in order to remove anyone who is motivated to join AG for financial or vanity reasons. GSG-9 Germany GSG-9 is a Special Forces Counterterrorism Service of the German government. The group is specially trained in weaponry and serves in a variety of roles that include clandestine operations, VIP protection, and embassy security. They wear jeans because their concept is a quick-to-deploy task force. The model is, they're in civilian gear then quickly suit up over it. It was formed in the wake of the massacre at the Munich 1972 Olympic Games. France's National Gendarmerie Intervention Group this elite special force is one of the world's most combat experienced counter-terrorist organizations. Placed between a SWAT team and Delta Force, the French GIGN responds to terrorist threats or domestic attacks. The enemy has evolved, and so too has the GIGN. Their mission is to get access to the scene of an attack as quickly as possible, then capture or kill the assailants before they can inflict more carnage. Their training program is notoriously brutal and lasts 14 months, if recruits can make it that long. One documentary team followed a group of potential recruits and saw 120 of them whittled down to 18 in two weeks. Australian Eco Cobra. The Eco Cobra is not part of the Australian Special Forces. Instead, it is directly under the control of the Federal Ministry of Interior. The Australian Ministry changed the unit's name from GEC to EKO Cobra in 2002. The 450 men in Eco Cobra have trained with some of the most elite Special Forces units. During tactical operations, the officers wear gray or black coveralls along with their tactical gear. Austria's capital city, Vienna, has its own counterterrorism SWAT team. No Known as WEGA, it is trained to similar standards and is capable of handling serious situations such as hostage taking. U.S. Navy SEALs these gold squadrons are among the finest special operations forces in the world. The competitive standard to even be considered for basic underwater demolition SEAL training is to swim 500 yards in 10 minutes, 30 seconds, do 79 push-ups, 79 sit-ups, 11 pull-ups, and a 10-minute, 20-second, 1.5-mile run. That's just to get in. Preparation to become a SEAL consists of basic underwater demolition, parachute jump school, and SEAL qualification training. The steps have all been described lightly as brutal. The wannabe SEALs then do another 18 months of pre-deployment training. These elite special forces deliver highly precise, intensely challenging tactical capabilities, including direct action warfare, special reconnaissance, counterterrorism, and foreign internal defense. Taiwanese Armed Forces but first, do us a favor. Click that like button to inspire us. Subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell and you won't miss any interesting videos. Done then, let's go. 
The Airborne Special Service Company, alternatively known as the Liang Shan Special Operations Company, is a special forces unit belonging to the Republic of China Army. With a military budget 13 times the size of Taiwan's, China now has more than 1 million ground troops, according to Pentagon estimates. Taiwan's military has shrunk from 275,000 to 187,660 active duty soldiers in 2011. Men between the ages of 18 and 36 who were born in Taiwan or who have ever held a Taiwan passport should be aware that they may be subject to compulsory military service in Taiwan, even if they are also U.S. citizens and even if they have entered Taiwan on U.S. passports. Special Forces Ukraine the size of Ukraine's armed forces, which maintains a 255,000-man force, is the third largest in Europe after the Russian and French armed forces. It was reported that Ukraine's military swelled to 280,000 personnel. This special force was perhaps the nation's most well-known Spetsnaz unit and served under the Ministry of Internal Affairs until its dissolution in 2014. The force came to worldwide attention during Ukraine, the 2014 Ukrainian Revolution. Although at the end of 2019, four Ukrainian Special Forces soldiers were released from Russia. Danish Special Forces The Danish Special Forces personnel are highly specialized troops trained for unconventional warfare and non-standard reconnaissance missions. Selection and training processes for Danish Special Forces are incredibly rigorous due to the interdisciplinary nature of the job. The Danish Special Forces units are well known in the intelligence, military, and naval communities for their advanced capabilities. The unit conducts long-range reconnaissance missions in North and East Greenland, patrolling Denmark's areas of sovereignty. This is done exclusively by a dog sled, which remains the most efficient way of traversing the unforgiving terrain. Which Special Forces amazed you the most? Have you seen any of them in real life? Let us know in the comment section. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take care of yourself.